This is a message for men and women that feel as though cheating is okay. Cheating is not okay. Cheating is one thing that you can do where it's not only wrong to do it to the other person, it's wrong to even do it to yourself. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 32 says, But whoso committeth adultery with the woman lacketh understanding, he that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. So not only are you wronging someone else, you're also wronging yourself. You're destroying your own soul by committing adultery, by, by, by cheating on someone else. Why cheat on someone else when you can be with someone else? Why cheat and try to substitute something that if, it, if the situation's not right, if the relationship isn't right, why are you in it? If we look at the word even further, if we go to Galatians, we go to New Testament on this. Chapter 6, verse 8, verse 7, I'm sorry. It says, Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall be of the flesh, reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. So it goes back to the old adage. It says, you reap what you sow. So if we're reaping bad, we'll reap bad, a bad tree if we sow bad seeds. We'll reap bad trees if we sow bad seeds. Why do we continually sow bad seeds? Why do we continually do the same thing over and over again, expecting different results? And the word is clear here. It tells us that if we are doing wrong, expecting right out of wrong situations, and regardless of what your reasoning is, there's so many different excuses that we can make up in our minds. We can say that we're not getting what we need out of our relationships. If you're not getting what you feel that you need based upon your purpose in your life out of a relationship, you're better off leaving that relationship. You're better off getting out of that relationship, telling the person, hey, you know, this is not what I thought it would be, or hey, you know, I'm not getting what I think I need out of this situation or out of this relationship, and just leave them alone, not trying to keep or cling on to the person because they're comfortable, because you've been with them X amount of years, because they have potential, but you're still going to go and cheat on them with someone else. It's time for us to get beyond that because we're expecting good trees to bear good fruit and we're, sat, we're sowing bad seeds. And the word is clear in saying that that's not possible. If I want a tree to produce good fruit, I have to sow good seeds. And sowing good seeds is first and foremost knowing why I'm planting the tree. Why am I planting this tree? Who am I planting this tree with? Who's going to help me develop the land? Develop the area that God is wanting to place me in so that way I can grow. That way we can grow together. That way that we can, we can produce good fruit, good things that are coming from us being together. We can't do that if we're cheating and if we're feeling as though we have to justify our reasoning for cheating. Because we're destroying ourselves and we're also destroying the people that are around us. So it's time for us. This is a wake-up call on Christmas Day. This is a wake-up call for those that have, have, have cheated on people, and I'm not here to bash you. I'm not here to beat you up. But I'm here just to give you an alternative perspective to let you know that you're better than this, and what you're doing is better. You can be better in your situation if you just make better choices. Let's stop cheating, y'all, and let's start sowing good seeds and start reaping the benefits of having good fruit.